FDA is different than the rest of the world in that we regulate sunscreen as a drug instead of a cosmetic. You'd think that'd be a good thing, right? Well, those regulations have put other countries leaps and bounds ahead in terms of sunscreen innovation. The United States considers sunscreen an over-the-counter drug, which means it has to go through more testing and research to ensure its safety and efficiency prior to being approved for customers. The countries in Asia and Europe, as well as Australia, categorize sunscreen as a cosmetic item and include advanced UV-blocking ingredients that aren't FDA-approved. Those ingredients create better protection and smoother application with little to no white casting. In fact, the FDA hasn't approved any UV blocking filters since 1999. In order to stop ultraviolet rays from penetrating your skin, sunscreen typically includes ingredients that are known as filters. These filters are either physical, which sit on your skin to reflect UV rays, or chemical, which create a thin layer of film to absorb the rays before they get to your skin, thereby lowering your risk of developing skin cancer. The US has only approved 16 UV filters, while Europe has approved 29. The Sunscreen Innovation Act was enacted in the US in 2014 to create different review processes for non-prescription sunscreen active ingredients, but things haven't really changed much. 